Most of you who have uh, clicked on this video, I assume, are fans of the TV show Riverdale. And uh, so by now you've uh, become a fan of Jughead's crown hat. At least uh, it's not the crazy pointed one from the comics anymore. I love the remake. But on the show, I believe his crown hat is knitted. So today, because I can't knit, we're going to learn how to crochet it. Join us, won't you? Welcome to another Mumsy video. Today we will be crocheting Jughead from Riverdale, the show, <laughs> not the comic book, his uh, crown hat. Uh, so I'm going to go over the supplies you'll need to uh, make the hat. Of course, um, I, again, like I did with the uh, Adobe hat, I didn't uh, put the instructions for making the actual hat. This one is just a double crocheted fast, nothing fancy. You don't need a brim on it or anything because we are going to attach the crown on the bottom. So first off, you will need a pattern for your favorite hat, and we'll be making that first. And then to make the crown, because I was using a J hook for the hat, I just use a J hook for the crown as well. Um, the gauge doesn't really matter. We will. I'll show you the pattern, and you can see you can make the points as close together or, or as far apart as you want. So if you're using an H hook for your hat, then use an H hook for the crown, that's fine. You'll need, of course, gray yarn. This is Bernat Premium in medium gray heather. That works pretty well. I'm sure there's a super saver one. Uh, all sorts that are the right color. Just as long as it's worsted weight, that will work the best. You'll also maybe possibly need a little uh, darning needle or, or a yarn needle to weave in ends and such. And scrap felt in white and red for the little points here on the hat. Um, you can either sew them on, so you'll need a thread and needle for that if you do, or I just glued them on with hot glue, so you can also do that. So we're gonna get started on making this. The first thing we do, of course, is crochet the hat to your particular size. Here in Winnipeg, it is cold in the winter, so I wanted a hat that would fit over, see these little ponytails, <laughs> would fit over my ponytails in the winter and my ears to keep me nice and toasty. On the show, the actor who plays Jughead wears the hat up here. It's a little bit smaller and it's not quite <laughs> so winterized. <laughs> Although I don't know why, because Riverdale has so much fog in it. I think it's pretty cold there and there's snow, people are breaking through ice and everything. So. Maybe he should have a, a, a little bit of a winter version of the hat too. Anyway, I'll come back after we've made the hat and we'll go over the steps for the crown. Okay, we're back and we're going to start making the crown. So we've got our hook here and our gray yarn and we are going to chain six, two, three, four, five, six. And in the second chain from the hook, we're going to single crochet all the way down for five. Can you see that? Hopefully I'm not in your way. I'm trying a new system again. <laughs> Three. Oops. Four. Find that chain. 
I hate crocheting into the chain. How about you guys? <laughs> I'm not good at it. <laughs> I never was, but it's okay. There. And then we're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to go five back up the other way. just broke my nail there. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Three. Oh, now I can't do it with my nail there. Four. Five. And back. And we've got to the end of the fifth row there. And we're going to chain two. We're going to turn it around and the first stitch we're going to do is going to be in that chain. One there, if I can get in there. I'm always not the easiest at finding that chain. There we go. <laughs> and then down for five again. So it'll be six SC, single crochets. So that we're working up the point of the crown here. Six. And then here we chain two. See, we're going up the point again. So then we're going to crochet into that one chain. There. Oops. And into the rest for six. So while I'm doing this, because you kind of get the idea, let's talk a little bit about Riverdale, shall we? I feel like I am 25 years too late to actually be a fan of the show. You know, I think you have to be about 15 years old before uh, before it's really got an impact on you. But I, I don't know. I love it. I love the characters. I love how dark it is. I, I love how they adapted it kind of from comics that I used to read as a kid and it just but in such a strange and interesting way okay so we're at the bottom of the row here chain one go up again for seven I don't know who's your favorite character on Riverdale my favorite, of course, is Jughead. <laughs> I love him. I, I He was my favorite in the comics, too. I love the fact that he eats tons of hamburgers. That is awesome. And I don't know. They made him so super smart and kind of like uh, an interesting, interesting guy. I crochet really tight, so sometimes I get, like, <laughs> difficulties trying to work with a bigger hook. Anyway, oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> and also, we're going to chain two again, and this time it'll be eight. We're going to go all the way up to nine, being the middle of the point because the points on his crown are not quite as pronounced as they were in the comic book in on Riverdale they're quite subtle <laughs> so 
we'll do this. This way of doing crochet uh, tutorials is strange. Um, I uh, have to hold my arms up for so long. I'm getting a little tired already. <laughs> I might have to cut this and take a break. Anyway, and then chain one and go up for the, this will be the last point. So we're going to go up for eight. I'm actually left-handed, but I learned how to crochet right-handed because all the videos on YouTube, all the different instructions and things were uh, right-handed, so I just learned that way. So good for you. But if you're left-handed, I would like to. I would love to see a video of this um, left-handed. <laughs> I wanna. I, I. I wouldn't even know how <laughs> to crochet left-handed anymore. <laughs> and chain two for the last one and I'll show you how to go down the point of the crown now we're going to do nine here one into the chain again and I will put this up as written instructions um, on my blog as well so that you can see See the written instructions without having to copy them all out from this video if you don't want to. I'll link it in the description. Okay, now we've got to this point here, the bottom of the ninth. <laughs> baseball terms <laughs> not a baseball hat but anyway so you can see there's a, a up point to this crown and okay we are at the bottom of the nine here so we're gonna chain one and we're gonna go up eight single crochets so two three four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're going to leave that last one as the point of the crown. So we're going to chain one. And go back down for eight. Two, three. And don't worry if it looks a little um, jagged right now. We're going to go over that and single crochet all around the edge to make it um, clean it up a bit and make it look uh, nice at the end. So we don't have to worry too much about it looking rough right now. <laughs> and eight. Then chain one, and I bet you can guess what we're going to do next. Go up seven, <laughs> right? Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
and chain one and turn and go back down seven. And this crown always looks a little bit jagged for now. But we're going to continue to do this until we get to five. Now, at this point, you can make a decision. Um, you can see the whole crown there. You've got the entire triangle. Um, I spaced mine out quite a bit on this one, which means at this five, I chain one, and I went a couple of rows here, so. I went down and then up and I believe I went down and up one more time but I don't know I was thinking that maybe I would want them closer together the points because I only ended up with five points that would fit around my hat which I guess is okay but maybe just down and then up and do the chain and start right away. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that and you can continue to do this all the way around. So you've got your hat, you just wanna keep going until it basically fits all the way around your length. Um, if you want them closer together, then yeah, don't put any spaces. It don't go up and down another few times with the five. Um, just continue again. But what we want to do is when we're at the end of the uh, length of the crown, we want to make sure that we end here at the bottom of the five. We are back and we've got the length of the crown done. I'm going to pretend I have it done. Anyway, as you can see on my hat, I just took the ends together. That's why I wanted you to stop at the bottom here so that when you take your end, you can put it here and just continue to crochet it together. So then when you're up here, you've sewn it together now and it looks like a full circled crown what we're going to do is clean up this kind of mess here that we've made of the points so what i did was i chained one at the top here and i just kind of put some single crochets into or over the top here and see once i'm at the top i want to make it a little pointy so i crocheted right into the top Then I chained one just to make a little point. And then right next to it, I SC again. And then back down the point wherever it looks like a stitch will fit to clean it up a bit, make it a little nicer looking. So you've got it cleaned up a bit and you'll just do that all the way around so it looks a little nicer not so jagged and then all we're going to do we'll fasten off and starting at the back 
with the seam. We'll put it there and I just crocheted all the way around um, and attaching the crown to the hat. We're just going to cut a tiny rectangle and a little red circle and we're going to glue or sew them onto the side. And that is your Jughead hat. What do you think? Pretty good? I think it's pretty cute. Anyway, if you liked this video, please uh, consider subscribing, like it. Um, I'm going to hopefully do a few more crochet videos. I also do sewing videos and uh, basic crafting videos and sometimes food, crafty food kind of videos too. So I hope you like it. Please comment. Please share your creations if you've followed this pattern. I would love to see them. And bye-bye uh, for now.